Hello, software race community, and welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving my IS4 on Great Wall. So, you may have noticed this is a short match. It's a 7v7, but this is not a rank battle. This is like regular match where the matchmaker is like, ah, there's like 30 tier 10s in the queue, but nope, we're just going to set a 7v7 against 8. At the end. So, that's exactly what happened. So, this basically, I'm doing another IS4 video. Why? Because I have a ton of them, and I usually have my best games in my IS4 because I love this tank. But, this race, this replay is not going to be just about me. It's going to be what happens when your team actually works together. You're not going to see it in the very first part of the replay, but on the last part, with the second part, you're going to see it. You'll know exactly what I mean. So, as you can see, four of us have went down to the bottom. Three went up to the town, I mean, hill. The other side, and I went down here to J1 by myself, and my other three went up right. So, I is far. I don't know what else to say about this tank. I say it all the time. Over and over. Alright, so the AMX, the enemy AMX 13105 just took out our Sheridan. So we just lost a tier 10 to their tier 10. Okay. And I quickly realized, like, their, almost their entire team went the other way. So, I tell my team to defend the base. And I'm heading back to our base because there are four guys headed back to our base. And I don't want to capture the base because I don't like capturing the base. I have 25,000 battles in World Tanks console. And only 200 have I ever captured the base. And we just lost our Borsic. And we just lost our Trinity Mark II. So we're down three tanks. We have a Defender, a Ram Panzer, me, and an E5 versus their seven. Two of them are actually a platoon, which is the IS-7 and the 100. Somebody is telling us to go capture the base, but I'm like, <laughs> no, you're dead. You didn't work out. Of course, not. So, besides, their entire, almost their entire team is heading towards our base. It would take us forever to turn around and capture their base. So, that's not what we're gonna do. So, for three minutes, I have been driving around and finally found some action. Thirteen one oh five and put a penetrating shot up to them. And three seconds should be loaded, and the E five takes them out. So, as you may have noticed, this is an older replay. A replay that has the older ribbon system and the old, older sound. Everything was different sounds. As you can hear, the E5 and the IS-4 firing. They're different from what they are now. And the engines and other stuff. But who says uh, old replay? Well, two is won't have a good replay in it. Also, this is before they removed Great Wall and brought it back. So they have almost a full health IS-7. We have finally killed one of their tanks with 13105, which I already have mentioned. So me and this E5 and this IS-4, IS, I, what the heck, E5, me and this E5 is going together. Try to take out this team. So, the defender got sworn and annihilated. So, it's three versus six. Well, three versus five now. So, it's just me, this E5, this, and this Ram Panzer against their six tanks. Also, their IS-7 and E-100 is also in a platoon. So, they're also, so they're talking together and working together. 
Yeah, I'm trying to find a shot on this BK100 P. If I put another shot to him, I ricochet. And I did see like a couple of tanks to the right. So I wasn't going to push out there with the E5. I seen the IS7 push in the E5. I was like, you know what? I got to sacrifice some hit points to take out the IS7 with the E5. This is a tier 10. It's also one of the guys in the platoon. So faster we take this guy out, faster we have a chance of winning. And we just took out the amp. Damage the ammo rack on the IS7. E5. We just took out the VK100 on 1P. Now I'm getting shot in the side like I said earlier. And it's E100. So I leave the E5 to take out the IS7. And I'm also trying to protect the E5 before the E100 shoots them in the back of the tank. Put a shot into the IS-7. IS-7 dive from the tier 10 light tank. German light tank. E5 puts a shot into the E100. And I'm about to put a shot into the E100. He's dead. So, what do they have left? They have a 1390, but I've been trying to shoot at the entire game, and an M103. And their 103 is dead. So, Ice 3 has brought this 3 versus 5, or 3 versus 6, back down to a 3 versus 1. So, teamwork. In the C5, we're working together, and while we distracted everybody else, that tier 10 light tank was putting shots behind them. We staying in the back and just putting cover fire down. And neither, none of us talked to each other, so we worked together and we eliminated one by one, and we covered each other's back. Well, 1390 is the only one missing. And I just got spotted. So that means he is close to me. So I'm thinking he's up there on A7. See? <laughs> we go up there's the light tank. And I think the E5 is going to go catch his face and lure him out. There's the Ram Panzer right there. And there's the 1390. Right there where our tier 10 light tank was sitting. Exactly where I thought it would be going. I don't know what the E5's doing. He's just sitting there now. Probably waiting for him to come down from the A7 side. What the heck was that? Wow. And there's the 1390, and I put a snapshot into him. He's dead. That's three, bro. He's back. So that was a victory in Great Wall because us three brought this team back. We didn't do too shabby ourselves. Did 3,650 damage. Us three did majority of the damage. So guys, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also remember to slap a fish because why would you not? And peace out. See ya.